I'm Deputy James from the Pass County Sheriff's Office, and I'm going to be taking you guys on a Tweety Walk today. Alright, like, the craziest story that I can think of is we were out looking for somebody with a couple warrants. Uh, I guess he liked to commit domestic batteries against his significant other. Well, we ended up getting a friend of that person and that person to help us out try and uh, track him down and we got him outside of his his house and we had all kind of hung around in the bushes this was at night too so it was all black couldn't see us and then we end up seeing uh, him out in the middle of the dirt road so one of our canine units we were out there and we see him we see him take off running and then we all go running after him and all of a sudden you just hear the canine uh, barking and then you hear this guy you uh, you hear a loud girl voice screaming in the background from behind the house but uh, it ended up being that guy you got he wouldn't listen to the canine and uh, had to be held up so, <laughs> that was awesome I rolled up on two vehicles on the roadside with their flashes on looks like a windshield smashed up a little bit on this black SUV I'm gonna check and see if there's any injuries and let them know so we get fire rescue rolling what happened? Catching up on reports or catching up on calls is what we do in our downtime. If we go to certain calls that have reports that we have to do, uh, where we document people, places, things, what happened, uh, thefts, batteries, DUIs, anything along those lines, they, they do require a d uh, incident report where we have to type up a narrative, add people, places, and things, and all that other stuff. So we have to do all that and it takes a little bit of our time and we're supposed to have those end by the end of our tour which is by the end of the uh, two or three days that we're on consecutive. Now, I remember my first arrest um, it was right before I was about to be cut out of field training with the uh, Fort Ritchie Police Department. There was a guy that refused to come out of a bathroom and after we finally the uh, employee there was able to give us a key and after a long time not answering, so we had to do uh, what's it called like a welfare check to make sure that he was okay. Well, he ended up having some stolen stuff on there from Walmart, which is uh, notorious for Port Ritchie. But um, he had a bunch of drugs and stuff on him too. And as we were trying to take him into custody, he decided he wanted to try and start fighting back and resisting. So he ended up getting charged with resisting and. Then he tried smashing his head on the uh, outside of my patrol vehicle and tried blaming it on me, but he didn't realize there was cameras watching it the entire time. So. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? When, when you were eight and you had bad traits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're heading to a call where the caller's son, who's a 44 year old male, has warrants for a couple different things. Uh, apparently, he's trying to barricade himself inside of a house. I guess he screwed the back door shut and may possess knives. So we're gonna go see what's gonna happen with that. Hey. Howdy. You guys need me to get a red gun or anything like that? Yeah, why don't you bring the red gun? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Right? He's, she says there's yeah, no weapons in the house, other than maybe some knives. Okay. Right. No firearms. Definitely no firearms. Think that he's on something. Definitely on something. My grandfather so. said he's that they gonna Get on the ground. Here's the class here. All right. Okay. Hands behind your head. Come interlock your fingers. Just come out with your hands up. Come on. Come here, come here. Seriously. Alright, turn around. There's glass in. Turn around. Wow. Oh, things, yeah, shit. Yeah, you got some room. Glasses. We'll talk about later. Alright. And that's how it's done. Oh, I tell me.
Hi, I'm Deputy Johansson with Pass County Sheriff's Office. I'd like to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch me show you what I'd go through in a normal day. Peacocks, goats, and singing. So, on that note, you guys have a great, wonderful day. Drop that beat. Oh, <laughs>